Hi, hello and welcome. My name is Meg and I'm a costume designer and maker. I specialise in creating fantasy, fashion and historical costumes all out of secondhand and reclaimed materials. I like to see the magic in the mundane, if you will, and the purpose of this channel is to hopefully inspire you to do the same. This is my first ever YouTube video. This came at a perfect time. I've just moved into a brand new costume studio. So this video is me setting up my studio and I'm gonna do a little tour for you as well. Let's get into it. apparently downstairs so we must go immediately. <laughs> So today we are going to start sorting out my studio. I've moved into a new costume studio recently so we have got a lot of stuff to sort out. As you can see behind me it is currently just a pile of boxes and furniture so we need to do some sorting. Okay so this is where we are at currently. <laughs> Oh my god. We have basically got to somehow get through all of this today. <sighs> yeah, we've got our work cut out for us. So the only thing that's currently in place is the sewing machine. Everything else needs to be sorted out. I've got like fabrics and stuff over there. Um, we've got to put up shelving units and bookshelves. This is my desk which is in two parts and just all the other stuff. sewing machine here and the desk here and because I've got this old office chair I can just slide between the two. Okay so the next thing really is the bookshelves so I've got a whole stack of dismantled pieces here and then other bits just like scattered around like here so I'm not entirely sure where they're gonna go yet. I'm thinking on this back wall here next to the sink. That is actually a sink there. It's just covered with stuff. So once I've got those built, then I can actually put stuff inside them and hopefully that'll clear a bit more space immediately so that then I can sort of start sorting everything else out. So that's the next step. Okay, so you can see I'm making some progress, kind of. Some of this stuff is probably not permanently gonna be here, but it's just here for now. Basically what I need to do is I need to set up my big rail and I can hang loads of these bags just full of clothes that need to be hung on the rail. But there are some of these boxes and stuff that I don't need as often, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and stack them in here. <sighs> Is day two we are starting to make some progress things have started sort of falling into place a little bit my thing for this year is I'm really trying to like make my space a little bit more organized and easier to use so I've actually ordered some racks to put all my thread spools on because I just have a box of threads and they get so tangled and it's just like impossible really to see what I've got so we're gonna build some little racks and put all the threads on and I'm just quite excited about the organization really so let's do it okay so I finally got my thread board up on the wall they're a little bit loose but there isn't like a, a built-in way to fix them directly to the wall and also there are some electrics and stuff so I just want to be careful that I'm not like drilling into this wall or anything so this will have to do for now but I'm really really excited to organize all my threads because we've got quite a lot I've got another bag here so the plan is to do them 
colour coordinated, I think. shops so that's a really good find and then I've started organizing everything into clear jars that I can see so over here we have got vintage brooches loads of beads like I collect bits of brook jewelry because you never know when it'll come in handy then down here we've got my mudlarking finds so I occasionally go and do a bit of mudlarking down by the rivers around here you can find like Victorian pottery and loads of cool stuff so all my collections is there. On that note my great auntie was a seamstress and her mum so my great grandma was also a seamstress and this was her sewing box so I love that it's still in the family. I've tried to organise it but yeah so this is definitely one of my most prized possessions as well. I just love that it is hers and I think she would be really proud to see that I am still using her stuff. Over here we have my lovely desk. I got this second hand from Freecycle I've actually put it out on the wall here so I can use it as a cutting table. It's a little bit messy at the minute. So I've got all my drawers organised. This is going to be my fabric scrap bin for recycling. So these are all my different threads. Pretty much all of these are second hand. Occasionally I have to buy a new one if it's something specific like a specific colour that I need. But most of these are second hand. People have given me them. I've just collected them. Sometimes you can find bags of these in charity shops or vintage shops. And then up here, these bobbins up here, and some of them are still on here actually, were my great grandma's and came out of my great grandma's sewing box. So that's just like a little homage to her. Possibly the most important thing in here is my sewing machine. This is my pride and joy. My great auntie actually gave me this last year, I think it was. Um, she doesn't really use it anymore, but she used to be a seamstress and she taught me to sew when I was a little kid. So yeah, this is definitely one of my most treasured items and also the most useful as well, obviously. In this section, we've got costume and pattern cutting books and sketchbooks, things like that. Uh, more sketchbooks here. And then this is my corset collection. <laughs> A friend of mine actually gave me all of these secondhand bridal bodices. They're all like dead stock ones from this bridal shop. I think these are from maybe like the 90s or early 2000s. This collection comes in so handy. I've already got through quite a few of these. Okay, so over here I've got my headdresses and then in this cupboard here we've got my domestic machine. So domestic overlocker, domestic sewing machine. And then I've got packaging supplies here. And then I've got other boxes of stuff. Like you can see I've got beads and stuff in there. I've got headdresses and shoes and things. It's a heavy one. Art supplies. Oh God. So that concludes our video for today. I am re-recording this outro because the first time I forgot to say loads of important things. The second time the camera was too shaky so third time lucky here we go i apologize if you can hear the sewing machine in the background i have turned it off but it just kind of does a little bit of a whirring thing so if you liked this video please consider subscribing and turning on notifications if you don't want to miss the next one if you want to see more of my work and the kind of thing that i do please feel free to head over to my instagram and tiktok i'm definitely the most active on instagram i've got a really cool community going on over there so please feel free to check that out if you're interested. I've also launched a Patreon page for anyone that wishes to support me in a bigger way and on there you can get exclusive access to things like voting rights on future projects and future videos, things like that. A massive thank you to my sister Ellie for editing this video for me and a huge thank you to you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!